I'm going to show you three really simple rock grooves and three fills to go along with them. All right, so let's break it down. The first one is just going to be one and three on the kick, two and four on the snare, and quavers in the hats. Super simple. We should all know how to do this one by now. Uh, we're going to do that for three bars, and then we're going to uh, throw in the fill. Now, the fill, really, really easy. We're just going to go one, two, e, and a three, and four. Now, if you don't have all of these, uh, all of these drums or whatever, you just, you know, you could do the whole thing on the snare drum. Just one, two, e, and a three, and four. Okay, beat one's going to be a massive flam. One. Okay, one more time. Okay, and then we're going to crash back on beat one and continue along with the groove. Okay, it's important to count one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four. Okay, here we go. One and two and three and four. Okay, now I think I may have slipped a little bit of the next groove into that one. So the next groove is just as easy. We're just going to throw a three and quavers on the kick, right? So we're going to go one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. Okay, let's try that for a few bars. Okay, and now our fill super simple also we're going to go one e and a two e and a three and four e and a okay so ticker 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 t t ticker ticker and you'll notice that i'm just going in this general direction um maybe i'll play through it twice and i'll show you how we can sort of mix up the fill a little bit two three and four Okay, so I didn't play the exact fill there, but I just showed you that you can do a whole bar just along those two there, or you could even just go one just on the snare. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, the original fill was... Okay, one more time. Ah! Huh? <laughs> we all make mistakes, kids. Okay, so groove three, going to get a little bit trickier here. We're going to throw in another kick uh, just before beat two. So we're going to go one, baga, uh, a two, one e and a uh, two. So we're playing on the ah uh of beat one. One e and ah, uh, one e and ah, uh, one e and a uh, two. Okay, and then three and four. This is the trickiest of the three, and you'll notice that I'm actually not lining up with my right hand. Okay. That's the trickiest part. Let's play that groove for a while. One and a two and a three and a one. Okay, so now the fill. The fill, we're going to go two groups of semiquavers and then two groups of triplets. So we're going to go one E and a two E and a three and a four and a. Okay, it's really tricky playing semiquavers and then triplets. That's kind of the challenge in this one. It's an easy fill, but to get the timing right is difficult. So we've got one E and a two E and a triple T, triple T. 
it's important that we don't rush the triplets, especially after semi-quavers. A lot of people go, one E and a two E and a triple T, triple T. Okay, we've got to keep them in time. One E and a two E and a triple T, triple T. Okay, so here it is all together. Two, three, yeah, two. Okay, cool. So that's three super simple rock grooves. Practice them at home. Hope you like them. And uh, I'll see you next term, maybe. Okay, so there's three super simple rock grooves and three fills to go along with them. So have fun practicing those. If you're a little past that, if you're more advanced than that, that's awesome. Practice them anyway. Practice them slow. Make sure you always use a metronome. And keep an eye out for some more extravagant grooves and fills later. Cool. Thanks.